Thank you very much. Uh, I wanted to say a word first of all. Uh, the best slogan uh, today, it seems to me, is the one about decolonize. The, what, the solution to Palestine is not just a ceasefire, it's the decolonization of the occupation of the whole of Palestine. Now, it's ten days, in ten days time, it will be exactly four years since I stood up at the University of Bristol and gave a lecture about Islamophobia. In that lecture, I uh, rehearsed the arguments that I've published in various places that the, that the Zionist movement is part of the push to promote and extend Islamophobia in this country and many others. That was the crime that got me, in the end, sacked in 2021. Of course, I was sacked by the University of Bristol, and, it, and we should be saying shame on the University of Bristol, absolutely. But the people who really sacked me, we know who they, they were, don't we? They were the Zionist movement. They, there's a lo long list of Zionist groups who wrote to the university to ask me to be sacked. And they also prevailed upon more than 100 MPs and members of the House of the Lords to write to the university saying I should be sacked. The Zionist movement is the root of me being sacked and the root of the attack on freedom of, uh, of speech and of uh, academic freedom in this country. And we should be opposing the Zionist movement on those grounds alone. But if we want to know what the Zionists really think about academic freedom, we don't look to the University of Bristol, we don't look to my case or the case of many other academics in the US and the UK and elsewhere. Where do we look? We look to Gaza. What have they done to the university sector in Gaza? They have destroyed every single university to rubble. And what did they do with the Islamic University of Gaza when they had eventually bombed it to nothing by the beginning of December? They decided they would go around to the house of the president of the university and execute him and all of his family. That's what they think about academic freedom. And they would do the same here if they could get away with it. But, but fortunately, they can get away with it. What we see in Gaza uh, is a, an awful ongoing genocide. But we also see in Gaza that they are being defeated militarily by the forces of the Palestinian resistance. And internationally, they are being def defeated in the war of ideas. Millions and millions of people across the world see the genocide, see that Zionism is a genocidal ideology for the first time. That cannot be put back in its box. Which means that Zionism's days are numbered. And my view all, all the way through this is we do not accommodate, we do not apologize, we do not negotiate with Zionists. What we do is we fight them. We have to destroy and dismantle Zionism. It's fundamentally a racist ideology. And before the judgment on Monday, which uh, declared I had been wrongfully dismissed, it was thought by some people that saying that Zionism is racism was potentially dodgy. It was potentially racist. It was potentially anti-Semitic. But now the idea that anti-Zionism and anti-Semitism are the same, which is an idea pushed by the Zionist entity and the Zionist regime and its hangers on and followers for more than 50 years. That idea has had a coach and horses draw, drawn th all the way through it by the, co the judgment in my tribunal, which has declared anti-Zionist views are protected under law in this country. Yeah! And so, to finish, I would just say, look, I've got a whole minute. <laughs> We have, to, we have to build the fight against Zionism. Zionism must be dismantled in Palestine, yes, of course, but it must be dismantled in this country too. Yeah. There, are, there are more than 2,000 Zionist organizations in this country. Does anyone know that? Yeah. Extraordinary. And every one of them is racist, and every one of them is, is building the support for genocide. They have to be dismantled. And, the, the, and the, the shops, the Nexts, and the River Islands need to be dismantled as well. These are shops which are funding directly the IDF and the genocide in Gaza. So I, I call on everyone to redouble their efforts, to investigate, to boycott, and to divest from, uh, from, from the Zionist movement, and indeed all of those who support the genocide uh, in Gaza and everywhere else. And the last thing I'm going to say, <laughs> uh, if you can go to London on the 20th, 20th and 21st of February, Julian Assange is having his, hearing, uh, his appeal hearing heard, and, I, and he would appreciate lots and lots of support. Free Julian Assange! Yeah.